You know, when you've made something, like a fancy shape, for example, it's a shame to leave it behind. So here's how you can pop it into your pop-it menu. Go to your goodies bag and find My Objects. This is your personal toy shop of self-made playthings. To add something, select Capture Object, and you'll get this friendly-looking rectangular capture box. Using the left stick to manoeuvre it and the right stick to change its size, place it around the object you want to capture and press Action to catch it. Gotcha! It's now saved in your My Objects page for later use. It's... it's a doggle! Sprung bolts are fabulously handy if you like a bit of horizontal wobble. Now, psst, I'm going to tell you another way to bolt things. Instead of bolting the first object first, you can bolt both of them at the same time. Use the poppet cursor to move the first object in front of what you want to bolt it to and then go to your tools bag and get your bolt. This time, it's a sprung bolt. Press action to run it through both bits at once. Remember to hold down action to get to the tweak menu, where you can alter the resting angle so it springs back to the position you want it in. And you can adjust the tightness. The higher the tightness, the harder it'll be to move. You can introduce motion to your creations by adding motor bolts. Handily, you place a motor bolt just like any other bolt. We wouldn't want to throw a spanner in the works now, would we? In the tweak menu, if you turn the tightness up, the effect is more powerful and the moving objects are less likely to slip. Make sure this matches the speed level so it's not fighting against itself. Direction adjusts whether it goes clockwise or anti-clockwise. You'll soon get the hang of this. Sounds complicated, isn't. You're a bright bunny. That's why we love you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you.